Brian. Keyson. Yeah. What's going on, man? Update me on what's really going on, man. I want you to tell your side. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be straight up, bro. I'm innocent. Now, I'm, I'm finding out this is what y'all finding out through the media. Now, I just seen my daughter on Christmas. She has none of these injuries. If, if a grown man had all these broken bones, he would have a body cast. Imagine what a child would have. Right. I, just, I have pictures with my daughter on Christmas. Her mother and her mother's mother brought her to my house for Christmas. Now, the the initial thing I can't say, first of all, I'm innocent. I was told my lawyer to keep it brief. But the initial injury that I, I can hold myself accountable for because she was in my care. She had a fractured wrist. I took her to the hospital along with her family. Defects got involved. They set up a safety plan. I've been seeing my daughter. So how do you think the two broken arms and broken ribs and the collarbone, and how did that happen? What do you think happened? I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily true because I, I didn't receive any notification from Defects or anybody about any of that information. I mean, I'm finding out if... This is you are. If my attorney is telling me to, to keep it brief and let it look innocent, man, I love my daughter. Anybody that's seen me with my child knows how I feel about my daughter. You can ask Fosworth Bentley, but my, I have a bigger problem here, and if injuries are true, I'm not around my daughter to that extent. And I've asked several times for the detectives and defects, if, if you feel like there's a problem, remove her from the house. She's not under my care. Why is that not being done? Okay, if, if you want to hold me, cool, I'll deal with that. But take her out of the home and do a full investigation. Well, Keyson, if you're innocent, why are you still running from the law? I'm not. I'm turning myself in as we speak. I was advised to get my, you know, get my logistics together. Okay, so you're you're turning yourself in Cobb County right, like, now. right now. Right now. Okay, but so I was advised yeah. by, by my legal counsel to turn myself into a bondsman. Okay, so you're not at the so you're not I'm at not the Cobb running. County Jail. You're at the you're at the bondsman place. Yes. And then On the bondsman will the take County you into jail. custody. Absolutely. But you wanted to tell everybody that is listening that you are 100% innocent and I'm not 100% responsible. I'm 100% innocent. I love my child. Thank you, man. I appreciate you calling in, though. Thank you, man. And to tell everybody, man, if you're listening, pray for me, man. Pray for my baby. She's fine, so everybody knows. She has not you know, one of these injuries. She's walking, talking, and if you see her, you will be like, how in the world can they say this? So do you believe they're making this up to try to – I mean, why are they doing well, this I, then? I believe part of it is, is to make me look as bad as possible. When the public got in I was on a television show called From Jesus Against Why I Hit a Man in the Face. Right. Well, you said that. So, we heard that. So I'm the man at that – I'm the two guy in this situation. Okay. But what they're not realizing is that everything comes to the light. So no matter what they say about me now, there's going to be a trial. There's going to be a case, a whole investigation. I just wish it was done sooner. This incident happened in July. Why is it, why is it just coming up now? And once you go to trial, you believe that you will be proven innocent. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Kisan. Thank you. Okay.